So today is uh, drive it day. Um, we're going to go up to Crewe and we're going to go have a nice drive it day for the Cheshire countryside. Uh, I'm not bringing any today because the cylinder head's still off. Um, I actually found the crack which has been the cause of the loss of coolant um, and it might even explain why I'm not getting a reading on the temperature gauge too. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it all repaired anyway so I'm not going to take any on this drive it day. Um, but yeah, that gives me time to get the head all perfect, and uh, then when it goes on, I know that there's definitely nothing wrong with it. Uh, and I'm not entirely convinced whether the head gasket really was the issue, why she's broken down anyway. So, yeah, looking forward to some fun times ahead. So our chosen chariot for today's drive it day, seeing that uh, Annie is uh, immobile at the moment, is Typhon's Land Rover Discovery. Uh, damn interesting vehicle. Yeah, it's a cool old thing. Really like this old bus. Uh, reminds me of my grandparents' ones. Side exit exhaust. Proper off-roady bumpers. Stickers everywhere. And oh, there's several different brands of tyres. We've got General Grabbers. Another General Grabber. Over here we've got a BF Goodrich. And another General Grabber. So yeah. Seats out of the Subaru in Pretzel SDI. Yeah. Our preferred mode of conveyance. Right, well we've just gone and put some diesel in. And we accidentally put some super diesel in, which isn't advertised, uh, for 139 a litre. Yeah, and I was not happy because it was only after I started pulling the trigger on the pump did I notice that it said 139 per litre on the tiny print that's on the, dis on the display on the pump itself. Yeah, and it's not as though it's obviously displayed, because you've got these pumps here which just say diesel and unleaded. And that one didn't have anything, it literally just said Sentinel Diesel. On a very small sticker in the corner. Yeah, so, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a con really. Yeah, exactly. To be fair. So uh, so jet petrol stations not happy with you. Yeah, I'm not happy with jet petrol stations either because it's like when they've got those sweets in there and they say, oh they're £1.30 and you end up paying £2.50 for them. And I've raised it a couple of times and it just sort of went, mm. so yeah, I'm not happy with them either. For some reason, my dash cam's decided to reset to default. All is going very well today. We are here, and there's some nice old cars, including a Nash Metropolitan and an MGB. And we got a Porsche 944 and a Saab 900. Yeah, let's look at this map, Nash Metropolitan. This is such a cool little car. Basically perfectly symmetrical front to back. What a cool old thing. Breakfast is served. The breakfast of champions is deserved. Absolutely. God, look at the size of it. Oh, oh there we go. It's basically got a nice big thick biscuity base on it. That's all biscuit. It's the buttery biscuit base. Here's the buttery biscuit base. <laughs> and I've got my coffee, because why not? Oh, that's proper coffee as well. The joys of power steering. <laughs> oh, it's, okay. it's not too bad. Uh, 
I said, it's only Diddy. Ooh, that's not throaty. So what is it in these? It's an A series, isn't it? No, B series. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to be a 1500 B series. Yeah. But this one's actually... Um, just making the car more usable yes, as yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. Right. I think it's amazing. <laughs> no belt of course and you got this bench yeah. seat. Yes. yes. Which is very, very soft. Yeah, it's it's okay on short journeys but longer journeys it, it's not very supportive. No. Um, I did the I did Euro tour with it um, about three years ago. It was the uh, the one in Holland. So I put it on the ferry from Hull over to Rotterdam. City car, hence the yes. name Metropolitan. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was. Um, it was built um, for Nash of America. Mm. Uh, it was built as the, you know, sort of second. It sold very well over there. Mm. It was the. Um, for a couple of years, it was the best selling um, small car. In the states, and uh, it, be, it outsold the uh, the Beetle. No way. And then the, the the Beetle overtook it. Yeah. I know which one I prefer. <laughs> it's for Saturn Beetles, and um... yeah, particularly the very early ones. They were quite primitive. Yeah. This has got a thermostatically controlled fresh air heater. Ah. So it's already much more luxurious. Yes. Built-in radio. Yeah. Cigar lighter. Oh god, that's the radio. You can just see. Yeah. I can just about see all the the dials up there for yeah. changing the station. It's cool. It's a it's a valve. Um, it's a valve radio. Yeah. Proper old school. So it'll warm, warm up in a minute. Yeah. Crackle into life. You've got your speaker grill there, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's just a single speaker. That's fantastic. I don't, I don't play it very much. No. Nah. 
going to say, that's an appropriate song for today, <laughs> if the sun was out a bit more. Drive one. Oh, that. To drive straight to this road right now. <laughs> I'm not expecting to see a Renault Twingo no. at uh, the site of a road closure. <laughs> Chase is on. We just need to look through flowers and smoke. <laughs> Some chip smoke. We'll have to put on some epic 1970s chase music. close to you then. <laughs> oh we got a tire squeal. That's fabulous. I need a supercharged BMW to have this much fun, this is awesome. So we got up to the ice cream farm in the end, uh, so we caught up with the guys uh, after that exhilarating little chase. So here are the cars, we got an MG ZS, a lovely Hillman Super Imp, which is gorgeous, Rover 800, an AC of some kind, which is also very cool. We've got an MG ZT, Saab 900, a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow, with headlamp brushes, Dale's Discovery, beautiful little Austin uh, Nash Metropolitan, which was just so much fun, Mini Cooper, a Rover 45, and an MG with a fabulous roof. Marvellous. The next mode of conveyance is this Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Ooh. These are the instructions. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh, look at this, uh, that one like that and give it a fair old pull. Okay. There you go. Ooh. Very decadent for me. Ne that. I've never even sat in the Rolls. <laughs> First for everything. Lovely. Oh yeah, you got a fair few. You might squeeze the Rolls Royce in, in the nose. Stabilise you in the corners. Yeah. <laughs> Keep you upright. Mm
we've reached a secret bunker now. Shh, no one's supposed to know about it. And then there's this. Nissan 300C. And it's sort of left here. V6. Oh, pub nut, if you're watching. If you're watching Ian, headlamp wipers. All in all, a very hub nut car. Right, we're heading off to the pub, so the final car I'm going to tart in is this Rover 800. Well, the Rover did a sterling job. Oh, you see what I did there. But we managed to get to the final pub, and there's a Mondeo ST. Which is interesting. But there's even more abandoned 90s goodness up here. <laughs> so I'm just get up here. And walk past the boring car. Look, it's a Mark III Fiesta and a Mark III Cavalier SR SRI. <laughs> with her authentic mossy goodness. Oh, headlamp wipers again. And surprisingly, it's not too shabby on the inside. It's not bad at all.